Hi. So, um, so I'm up this morning. It's pretty early. Somehow I lost live on Facebook. Um, so I wasn't able to post this to Facebook, but it's all right because a lot of the videos when I go live on Facebook, I'm not able to save them. I can't upload them to YouTube. So my YouTube channel on YouTube, YouTube in order to post live is a little bit more difficult. So anyway, I got up this morning and, um, you know, with the washer and dryer sometimes breaking, or not the dryer, just the washer, um, and and sort of getting up today, I sort of figured out, you know, what am I going to do? I also have a clothes dryer that hangs clothes in my apartment, okay, and, and somehow, you know, with my daughter and everything, pushing stuff around sometimes, it, it basically always doesn't really stand up right, okay? So, um... And so I always kind of have to fix it just for a minute. And then it says, well, tonight or this morning, it basically fell over. So I said, all right, um, I'm going to go, you know, shop for some because, uh, you know, I bought this game. I bought Cyberpunk 2077. It's probably why I lost live is because I was watching the TV in Cyberpunk 2077. It probably has all that movie type of, you know, bad movie type of ads. And so, you know, com not comedy, but sort of make fun and you know, do bad stuff or whatever. And so I probably lost live because of that. Um, I'm trying to think about what I was, what I was going to say. Just totally lost my uh, train of thought. But, um, oh, oh yeah, yeah. So, oh yeah, 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 yeah. So, so my, my mom basically bought, well, but it's through my account. So, you know, with disability and stuff, like, you know, my mom has, you know, a card or whatever where some of the, you know, the disability goes to pay some of the stuff and, you know, handles all that. Well, anyway, I got that set up with Google because, you know, I, I need to pay for TV and stuff like that. So anyway, so I got money last night because they're flying to Florida for Christmas. Oh yeah, yeah, but I, I'd already bought the Cyberpunk 27.7 on the day it came out. When I did, I ended up doing pre-order. I knew I wasn't gonna do pre-order, but it went all the way until 4 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. I was like, I might as well have the game ready. And then I watched on uh, Twitch, Sway Bliss, she was already playing the game in Sweden. So I know they've released different versions and stuff, but on Stadia, anyway, you know, 4 p.m. or whatever. So still hadn't told my mom but that's fine, I'll just be deducted from, you know, pay or whatever later, okay? So, I, I would, so anyway, this morning I was, finally I was like, you know what, I'm just gonna do a post about fixing the clothes rack with these swim, with these swim floaty things, okay? They've got a hole in the center. I did the, I did the thing up on the wall there, okay? And so why not just simply fix this with these instead of going on, the point I was saying is I had money on my on my bank card and I could go to like Amazon or whatever and try to buy something, okay? They've got the clips, I think it's called Blue Sea. It's like round with metal. With, they almost look like medical pincher clips. And, and I know that I'm gonna hang a towel by that and the, how, the towel's gonna be so wet and damp it's gonna fall right, you know, right off. The clips won't hold it or whatever. And so then you go back to one of these. A wood one was like about a hundred dollars. They have steel and stuff, but I'm I'm worried that it's gonna it's gonna rust. Okay. So finally, with sort of the different stuff, I sort of tried to tie something to this, but because it's an accordion style and it closes this way as well as folding up and down, I was like, that's definitely not gonna work either, uh, and it'll just sort of tip over and fall over again. So I said, you know, why don't I just simply try to use these? And I, so as I started going, I said, well, I guess I'll do the video. And then I tried to go live on Facebook. I'm like, I lost live on Facebook again. So anyway, this is it. I took this apart, okay? Took this apart. This is the elastic thing. This is from an old sheet, an old bed sheet that had elastic in it. I can't get this off right away, okay? And then basically you have this. This folds like you know, back or this way, basically. And then it connects, this is half of it here. So I thought, well, what's the best way to fix this? And I said, I basically, because the bottom one just keeps coming apart. What I need to do is, um, is what I got off the tape measure. 
I could size it first, but then I said, you know what, I'm just gonna use the tape measure. So that's what I'm gonna do now. You can see here, just kind of down here a little bit, where I got this. I got the fan on, it's a little bit warm, okay. So I'm just gonna use tape measure. I don't know if you can see this, can you see this here? Yeah, yeah, so we're gonna measure this, okay. And this is about just under or at 14 inches uh, with sort of the connector item here. And there are screws on here to tighten this, okay? So we have 14 on this side, and then these have sort of these connector bands to them. And we're gonna see about this one. This one's over 14, 14 and, 14 and a half, okay? So that's 28 and a half inches. And that's basically what I'm gonna cut on here is 28 and a half inches. And we're gonna use green. So we gotta get this out at 28 and a half inches. I'll be a little bit under, I don't wanna be too over, I think 28 and a half because I'm, I'm going right to the end of that. So we're gonna go right to about, I'll do this out to about 31 and a half. And then gotta kinda of get this over here. We're gonna to measure to right about 28 and a half. I might go under by one eighth or a quarter of an inch. So I have a little bit of room. I don't want it to be too snug because I don't know what exactly is gonna hold it together uh, except maybe tape or something. I'm not really sure. You can tape these okay. There won't be stress. It'll just simply be a connector item. Okay, and so we're gonna go right to about here on this. And I might be a little bit over. I might see. I want to make sure it connects, so if the metal overlaps and tightens inside, okay. This this sort of this peg here goes in this hole, and it's got this sort of looseish, I guess, plastic tightener bracket. I want to go under by two inches, but I'm only going to do. I'm gonna do two inches and a quarter. So we're right at 28 and a half. So we're gonna go down to 26 and three fourths. I hope that's right. And then that way, the, the, the peg and the bracket on the inside can connect. So 26 and three quarters. I'll be a little over, I guess you could say, I don't know what it is between 26 and three quarters and 26 and seven eighths. And this obviously bends and, and the ruler is, you know, sort of just tape measures a little bent here. But basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to here and we're gonna cut right off of here. Don't have a utility knife here. I'm just pretty much using a kitchen knife, and you can see the difference there. You'll get this, this, this. I don't know exactly what you want to call that. Okay, so we have one of these, and we're going to try the bottom here just to see how that fits. Okay, and this is going to go here, and this is going to go here, and it's just going to be one. So what I want to do is rotate and then see if I can actually connect them. And I'm getting contact way early, but then I made a mistake, it looks like. Ah, oh, the bread is ready. This is a mistake. Okay, I made a mistake, hold on. Man, definitely that's why people say you gotta eat breakfast it's so true oh god I almost fell out. I'm not saying breakfast is the answer I'm just saying like you know I got up I had a little bit of juice or whatever you know but this isn't you know this is just some bread okay so somehow this collapses a lot shorter 
than what I want. I'm, I'm in here by four or five inches. And I don't know why that is. How did I make that error? How did I make that error? See, if this is 28 inches, it's a lot longer. When it connects, just barely. We're at about here. This is too, this is just right. The second piece is just right. It's just connects. I can push it for, for compactness. Maybe that, maybe that's just a size thing. This is the piece I cut. This is the extra piece. This is a typical uh, fix it error. So when I did this, I measured the 28 inches right here, okay? If there's ever a reason not to drink alcohol or anything else, it's this exact reason. Okay, so I measured this here, right? 28 and you can, you can 26 and I got all, got all, you know, specific. Then I used the piece that's the spare piece that I cut off to try to fix. Okay, sometimes this goes really haywire, okay? You end up making all these pieces and they're all wrong. And then you have a lot of byproduct that you can't, that you don't know what to do with. You have to have real high basic intelligence if you're gonna make that error and then use all the byproduct. Because the byproduct will end up being all different sizes and stuff, it won't always fit. The other problem you have is, I, I don't know, you know, but this is the byproduct. Toss that over to the side. We've got our piece here that actually is the right length and I'm pretty sure it's gonna work. But, you know, a night of drinking or whatever, you're just, <laughs> you'll, make, you'll make a mistake like that and it's, it's not a big deal right now. That's the good news. All right. All right, let's see. So how does this work? These go on here like this. And I'm gonna try this again for size. So we do have this little piece. I'm actually gonna leave that on there. I don't know that it's better or worse that way. I just wanna see how this fits. And once again, I'm gonna fit this on here and see how it connects because this is definitely a, okay, so it connects there and then it's gonna slide through and then I get a little bit of push which is sort of the challenge because I'm getting pushed away from, uh, from this, this foam item and I'm not really able to get that sort of that, that connected sort of way there. So what I'm gonna have to do is actually, see part of it comes off there. What I'm actually gonna have to do is cut this a little bit shorter. And sometimes you think, why not go for short solid connection with the with the byproduct piece, right? You'd lose a little bit, um, you know, length, length or horizontal there, but you're gonna get, you know, four or five inches or however many inches of it totally connecting. See, here's the total piece, which I think I measured at about 28 inches. And so when you look at this difference, right, you have a difference here of, about four and a half, or about five inches, five inches right there. And so the, the, the two metal uh, uh, posts or pole here uh, will connect more fully. And then you won't have that push, push off. So what I can do is try to go back actually to the byproduct, which is now no longer byproduct. No longer byproduct. And I have to try to figure out how to get this through here and then this is gonna slide through here all the way. It also is sort of, a, you know, collapsing down. That's actually the trick here, is to hold it here and then let it fall, but don't let it collapse because it automatically collapse. But what you can do is use a little bit of gravity, ideally here, if you can get this through. This, oh, getting the whole piece to fall off. Okay, so we gotta pull this off these interlocking parts don't always work. And 
then this has got to go on here. And what we basically are going to do is try to fix this again. This will go on here. So we, so we put this here. I want you to see this because I'm getting a lot of what seems like odd interference. Okay. So this comes on here. This goes on here. What was happening before is this disconnected from the base. Then this was collapsing down on here and I couldn't actually put this over it. It doesn't always seem like that would happen normally, but I'm just gonna, gonna try to figure this out here. So we get this basically here. We get this sort of full connector here. At how many inches is this? 20, 23 inches here. And we basically come through on this and I'm gonna have this downward sort of thing because this disconnected. See, it's gonna all collapse here, and that's sort of the problem, which is why this has gotta come off. I don't know exactly know what, sometimes people do this a lot. They basically have words and things they use, like it's just getting flitter fluttery, and everything's just kinda, of, you know, sort of go home for the day. Okay, so we got full connector there but I'm gonna lose quite a bit. So what I think I'm gonna use is non-standard length connector, which I think will be the best, which means we just simply go with uh, not total byproduct, but we basically just go with something sort of in between the byproduct and the cut piece. But we want to maintain length and we'll have loose throughout, okay? So I'm gonna have a sip of soda and a bite of toast. I don't think it's technical. Well, maybe it is technical. I don't know. And then, I'm gonna cut wherever. It's not so specific, it's not exact. We need a little bit of space. We basically just need stuff to work. All right, so now, that goes on there. This comes here. Just sort of connected how we connect the others. We're basically just going to walk through the process here of connecting all of these. And I got a missed one there. It's got to be fixed. And what you can do with something like this, if you want to be a little bit, I don't want to say lazy, but sort of tired or whatever, you basically just go one at a time. And you say, oh, I'm going to do one and then see what happens. Maybe I'll use something else the next time. But just to get all these sort of connected here and then sort of work from there. But sometimes you got to go back and do it again. So some of these items, see, so we're getting sort of a, oh, see, it's coming out the top. Okay, so this basically has got to go here, this has got to be reconnected. Then we go here, and then we got this sort of up here. What we basically do is then tighten it here, tighten it here in terms of closing it, which it doesn't seem to want to do, but it used to do this all the time. And we still have this bent in formation on the bottom which we don't really like, which means we have to tighten the screws. I need a Phillips screwdriver, and this is gonna rotate here. You'll see this sort of leaning here as it stands up, and it's probably bent metal. I'll go back to the iFixit case, which is coming, done well for a while. 
and we're going to see what it's like when we tighten it. We have a lot of leeway, which means I can kind of fix stuff around it. But what I'm worried is, is that once I get it all tightened, a little bit of a problem. Let's see, what's the Phillips? Oh, it's a big Phillips. I don't know that I have screws that size. I might have to get the electric. Get a little bit of the hiccups. This will work. All right. So we go down to the bottom here. Basically start, there's not much to tighten there, but we can tighten over here. I gotta remove some of this. These are all pretty tightened. Oh, well, this will tighten, okay. And then we get our secondary uh, adjuster. It provides a little bit of leverage here. We basically just tighten all the screws. I get this right. See, this has got to be tightened. If it, if it tightens, sometimes they don't actually tighten, but we got to get all the way to the bottom here. Tighten all these up here at the top. Now it may be totally bent, in which case I sort of go back to the problem I had before, but. This is a, uh, a higher quality manufacturer, it's Samsonite. You can see it right there. And, and that's why this, this, this should be able to be fixed. Samsonite products a lot of times can cost more money, but usually this one down here, oh, that's good, it sets right there. All right, this one has to be totally tightened down here. It's almost slipping, that's my problem. I'm getting a total slip down here, which means we may have lost threads. We have a permanent problem. Okay, so we're gonna have a permanent problem down here. This threads go all the way through. Now, what I need to do, I don't actually need to remove the cloth I put on here. Uh, if we have a double problem down here, we have a double problem. But is it fixable? It's tightening. I get a little, that's why you don't want to be too heavy or whatnot. Okay, so we have a basically a bending this. It fixes better. But we have a bent screw problem. This has got to all come off here. Now if I straighten this, we may try to be Partially inventive, but it's not always ideal. By removing this, we can look at the size of the screw with threading. But if, oh, the screw is much longer. Which means what we might do is do a double twist. And may continue to get lock. But it's just continuing the screw 
we don't get that block that we want. We have sort of the same problem here of not connecting these pieces. And I'm getting laps there because it's been disconnected. We have an internal, oh no, 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 it's not internal. It's got to come off. It's giving the real crux. Anytime you have anything that you can't identify or see, it all of a sudden magically changes internally. You have real problems identifying what exactly is happening. See, this screw is basically all coming off here. So, what we need to do is remove this. Uh, gotta get this off here now, but it's gonna stay on for a while. And this has gotta tighten around. Which means we need something like a wrench. of stuff here. I bought this PVC. Can PVC help? I don't know if that actually helps at all. But it may. Because when we have that loose internal connection and what we can do is provide a little bit of strength with the PVC. And then we tighten this with a little wrench here. We might need the... Where'd that thing go? It's right here, right here. Tighten our thing up oh, there, went right all the way under there. It's going to tighten here, and this has got to tighten here so that I get sort of full tightening of this. And I'll try to straighten it as much as I can, but some of this stuff just starts flail a little bit. You say, well, you know, that doesn't really seem like it could happen like that. I'm still getting this off put here. I don't even see this here. That is tightening and straightening. And that's about as tight as I want to go. And there. Then what we do like this here, but because we have slid, this thing goes rolling all the way away, we have slid the PVC in this side here, we don't actually have a tightener on the PVC. This can collapse, but it can also come apart. It's just sort of loose in there. We're going to basically provide extra we're also going to tighten the other side of this. That's actually the trick to this. You have to tighten these little connector things so that they don't continually become loose. This one has a magnetic 
nereklamom. There we go. Okay, now these are tougher and tighter around these. But we're going to have this sliding problem, which is why we added the PVC. But we need this to be sort of tight at some point, and now it's become totally loose. What used to be something that would not become loose at all, almost has total freedom to move. It's almost difficult to understand how to fix this. It's as if it doesn't really fix. But then again, it's, for, it's, it's in order to be collapsed. So it just stays sort of steady for a while and then essentially gets changed or taken apart. Okay, now this one is not even gonna fit. Okay, so we've created a separator problem and we're gonna have to try to loosen and tighten as we go. So we're getting sort of full effect here, which shouldn't always happen, but basically that's what we get. Then it's got to come back around, oh, full effect almost, and that's going to stay snug. Okay, so now that we have that staying snug, we're going to add this piece here, and we're going to see if we can avoid, we can't avoid the collapse. See, that should not even happen. But what we need to do is do sort of a, an additional, okay, so this is gonna come out. This should not even be, have, this comes out, this goes through, this comes across. Now we are sort of getting somewhere then this has got to come through here. And we have connector. This comes onto here. Now we're going to get the same thing as we got on the other side. Somehow, I went opposite twice. Okay. I'm definitely starting to sweat. It's too difficult here. And that should not be doing that. But that's what we're going to deal with. piece here cannot come off. If it comes off, I can't get any of it back on. 
and it should be able to fit on there as it is now. really hard to get this to hold. It should have continual tightening, but it does not, which does not make much sense. But now we are tight. We're going to be tightening this more. So the screw is now stripped. Okay, that, that I didn't think should happen either. And I have metal shard on the desk. Okay. That is not the way it should be, but. Okay, so now we have a stronger support here and it should stay. I simply need to go through the other pieces here. Okay, so this basically stands. It actually is pretty good here the way it is. But we are gonna tighten the other parts of it. Um, I will get a little bit of bend. At the very end, uh, the screw got stripped. So I just sort of have to deal with that as it is. I was surprised that that happened. But we basically have this on here, and then these all seem pretty tight. I'm not actually gonna mess with any of the other screws because when you have screws stri starting to strip, right, where the, 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 what you put the, uh, the Phillips head into rips around the inside part, it may happen on all the other screws after that. So we basically have this here. We got a little bit of looseness on the top but it's straighter on the bottom, okay? And we can take this off here on the side. And this will start to bend again because it's just, you know, the screw is stripped, but we're just gonna have to deal with that for a while because I guess maybe eventually you go get a new screw or something like that, but I'm gonna see, it doesn't bend inside anymore that much. So this is tied on here, just basic 
uh, square knot on here. So I got to rotate it around. It's got elastic in it, so it tightens around quite a bit. You know, once you set that knot with the elastic, it really doesn't come off. I mean, it, it's all stretched in there, basically. It's gonna hurt my fingers. Okay, so that comes off. All right, now we have we have bend. It's definitely bent, and it looks like it's going to attempt to continue to bend. But we have this PVC here in the center that creates support, and the screw is now stripped. So whether I'll get a new screw later or not, and it's going to continually sort of loosen, but. At this point, we can put stuff on it. It does not, it won't collapse in basically. But it's sort of where we're at with things. And that's it. So there you go. That's the, it's sturdier. It may begin to bend in on that screw. I don't know. So we, we fixed it. We got, it's, it's definitely, a, I don't exactly know how long it will last. But we did get that screw stripped, so that's basically what happened. So, um, and I'm not going to tighten the other screws either because they will they will they will strip as well. So once you get one screw to strip, all the other screws will strip. So whatever's happening before, you know whatever happens before is just sort of trying to fix it, try to get it right. Once you get a screw to strip they're all basically going to strip on this project maybe on the screwdriver i don't know these shards are not fun to deal with little metal shards steel shards that come out everywhere so they get in your fingers your hands your clothes your food your mouth your ears your nose if you itch your ear you got an itchy ear you got an itchy nose you can't really identify them either because they're almost too small to see it's like, you know, sharp metal dust. So, uh, but they're shards. They've been broken apart by the stripping of the screw. Stripping of screws. You know, you eat the toast or whatever, you get your fingers in it, it's, so you eat it, it's a big problem. That's why, you know, you talk about, I was talking about the other day, a woman walking around a construction site in a bikini. You know, construction sites have hundreds if not thousands of shards many strip screws many you know particles shards all types of stuff walking around a bikini you know it inevitably gets around stuff so it's always a danger so anyhow i'm gonna end there i hope you're doing well and i'll talk to you later bye bye